Hey everybody, it's Doc Green. Um, I help a lot of people, or try to help a lot of people do this debt-free thing that um, I'm having to be doing, and uh, I get a lot of negative comments and people on Facebook and on my other page on Facebook who all seem to tell me, um, Doc, uh, that, that sounds great, but you can't. It, it's not realistic. You can't do it that way. Uh, it doesn't work. It, look, here's my thing, guys. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. You know, but don't tell me it doesn't work. I've done it. I'm doing it now. I have friends of mine and, and people I don't even know that are doing it. So here's the deal. If you want to be debt free, it's, I mean, it's hard, but it can be done. And when it is done, you're going to have so much more wealth and everything than if you stay in debt. So here's to the naysayers out there. Keep doing what you're doing and keep expecting something different to happen or change and get something different. I mean, it's, it's that simple. So I have had people, friends of mine and, and good friends and family tell me, um, I don't understand their situation. Oh, doc, I don't make the kind of money you make or doc. I don't do that. Guys, I've done this for people who are making minimum wage. I, I've got, I've got, I, I got two kids that are, that are making minimum wage and a 40, not, not my kids person, I mean two young adults who are on the program and they are making, well, just barely above minimum wage and they've already got a Roth IRA set up. They're debt free. They don't owe any car payments. They're paying rent at their own place. I mean, so I know it can be done. It's just the steps that you are willing to take to get there. You may have to cut some things out. And I've heard people tell me, well, I'm not willing to sell my car. Then you're not willing to be debt free. Oh, I've worked too hard for this. I'm not getting rid of this. I'm not getting rid of that. Then you're not willing to be debt free. See, here's the difference. When you're debt free, you can buy all that stuff again. This time, though, you won't be worried about how to pay for it when it's not on credit. Let me take these off. I hate that player. But if you don't do it, you will be in debt. And then I don't care what you have. Are you really going to enjoy it if you're stressing on how to pay for it? Now, a lot of people say, well, I pay my bills just fine. I'm in manageable debt. It's only manageable as long as you have your job. It's only manageable as long as something catastrophic doesn't happen. But, for instance, COVID happened this year. And a lot of people who were doing great, you know, making all their payments, had a good job, you know, didn't think their job was going anywhere, had, you know, making all their payments on time, um, weren't going into real bad debt or anything. Now, I know two people who are fixing to lose their homes. That's crazy. And it's people I've tried to reach out to before, and before they tell me, well, no, Doc, I'm, I'm doing just fine, and, uh, well, you know, you do what you want to do, I'm going to do it my way. And, hey, great. But now they're reaching out to me and asking me for help, and now I'm in a situation where I, I mean, I'm doing the best I can, but it's hard to help them because... Now it, it, they're, they're already over that line. I can't. I can't save their home. I can't tell them how to save their home. I can't tell them how to get debt free. I can't tell them how to save up an emergency fund. They're past that point. So now they are both probably going to lose their homes. And then when everything is real down and out, and everything maybe we can start again. But guys, if if you're in debt and, and you think everything is okay, and I have a I have the greatest like me right now, I'm a truck driver. My job is guaranteed, right? Wrong. One ticket, too many. Uh, one accident out here that I'm at fault. Anything anything that happens and I lose my job, I'd be in trouble if I didn't have an emergency fund set up. If I wasn't in a position, right now I could lose my job and I'm okay for a few months because I get back something else. But guys, if you are not in that situation where if something happened tomorrow and you lost your job, and you can't make your payments for the next three months, are you gonna lose your house? Are you gonna lose your cars? I mean, these are things that you need to think about. Uh, anyway, so to all the naysayers out there, don't comment on my page. Just don't do it. Don't tell me how wrong I am. Just don't do it. I don't need your negativity on my page. I know you're allowed to. I just don't see the point of it. Because to be honest with you, I'm just going to pretty much ignore you and make fun of you anyway. If you sit here telling me this can't be done or, Doc, you don't understand my situation, there is not a situation out here that can't be fixed. Now, once 
the situation has gone past a certain point, we may be in what we call a restart mode where it can't be fit. You can't fix the current situation you're in, but you can make sure you never find yourself in it again. Or we can fix the situation you're in now if it isn't past that point. I don't do this for money. I really, I don't think I, anyone has asked me for advice or people I've went out and reached out to and everything and helped. <clears throat> you can ask them. I have never asked for a penny. Not one dime. I have not asked them to do anything. You know, I, mean, well, I asked them to do things, but I haven't asked them for any, any, any help or any money or anything like that. I'm not doing this for financial gain. Now, if you want to donate, hey, I'm, I'm not going to turn it down, but I'm not going to ask anyone for it. That's not the point of this. I'm not helping people just to do, to get, this is not my job. Now, some people look at Dave Ramsey on and they go, well, he's just trying to sell books. And he's just, no, that's his job. That's his livelihood. He is trying to make money at that to keep his family. I mean, that's how he makes his living. Helping people is not how I make a living. You know, Dave Ramsey, I have nothing against him. That's his full-time job. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to do this. But I'm, I'm not doing it for money. I'm doing it because, honestly, people, I love y'all. I mean, we may argue over politics. We may argue over whatever. But in the end of the day, anyone that's a friend on my Facebook page or any of my subscribers, I generally have a love for. I don't want to see anything bad happen to anyone out here. So when I do this, I'm not trying to belittle anyone. I'm definitely not trying to say I'm better than anyone because, man, y'all know what I've been through. Most of you do. I'm, I'm in no position to say, oh, yeah, I've got all Oh, look how great. I, that's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to help y'all with me. Go, go, go with me. You know, let's get out of this together. Let's quit having to worry about a stimulus check from the government. I don't care if the government sends a stimulus check or not. Could not care less. Doesn't affect me. So when I see all these people doing these posts about, oh, look what Nancy's doing. Oh, look what Trump's doing. I'm looking at it going, I don't care. Neither one of them are bothering me. Do what you want to do, fellas and fellowettes doesn't affect me because I made sure I took care of me and I'm trying to help my friends take care of themselves so that when all these little political things about stimulus and COVID and look at all the money and this, it doesn't affect us. We keep rolling right along. We may comment on it, but in all reality, it doesn't affect us. And I'm trying to help you guys out the same way. I, I, <sighs> it's funny. If I charge for this, people will pay me and do it. But because I refuse to charge for it, they look at me like it's well. If I'm not charging for it, it's of no value. So it, it, they don't. They listen and they go, "Well, if it worked that way, then why didn't you?" Well, I am doing it. I actually had one person tell me that. Well, if it was that easy, then why aren't you in there? Because no one told me when I was their age, or I would be. I'm trying to help them. For those of you that have kids now and everything out here, and, and you, you see them, a lot, of, a lot of my friends don't even know what a Roth IRA is. They don't understand the difference between a Roth 401k and a regular 401k. They don't understand how, how much money to put in either one. They don't understand compounding interest. Now, a lot of you do, but a lot of you don't. And there's nothing wrong with that because no one taught you. No one told you, you know? Now, here's where I was stupid. When I was 16, 17 years old, I had a man teach me and tell me. I just didn't do it. So that's the reason when bad things happen to me, and financially and everything, you don't hear me getting on here going, oh, she did this, or he did this, or the government did this, or they did this, because I know whose fault it was. Man. And I'm going to try to help as many people as I can. But if, if you don't reach out, I don't know. You know, I had a few of you reach out a couple of times and everything, and that's it, never heard from you again. It's it's a long process, but it's worth it. I don't care if the Social Security dries up tomorrow and can't afford to pay anybody. I don't care. It's not going to affect me one way or the other. I may go some money for beer on a weekend, but I really don't care. It's not my, it's, th th that was not what I was counting on for retirement. And if it's what you're counting on, you definitely need to get with us. Let us help you because that's not going to get it. 
if you're in debt, people, we need to fix that. That's the reason everyone is so stressed out, worried about this relationship. When you get down to it, it's all about the resources you have. That's what this whole election is about. Well, healthcare costs too much. Let me help you figure out a way to pay for it. Let me help you find a way that you don't have to depend on the government for free health care. You don't have to depend on the government for your retirement. You don't have to depend on the government for your housing or, 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 or your loan star card or food stamps or whatever they call it now. Let, let get out, let's get out of that mentality and move on. I had a classmate that has passed. And I'm not saying this to embarrass anyone. And I, I, his wife had to reach out for help for his funeral expenses. I want you to understand that. And I am going to reach out to her in a little while after she gets through this. This is a traumatic thing that happened to her. But his wife, if she needs help with funeral expenses, then the chances are she's probably going to need some help very soon with other financial issues, especially now that he is gone. And I don't want to see any of us in that situation. I know what's going to happen. But, honest to God, we need to fix it. And we need to quit waiting for the government to fix it because they're not going to. Trump doesn't care about who dies in their family and they can't pay for a funeral. Trump really doesn't care if your kids go to college or not. They say all that, but they don't care. The only ones that are really going to care are your friends and your family. And only so many of those. So whenever I say I'm doing this for free, people, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I just want to help. I'm not here to make fun of anyone. I'm not here to get rich off of it. I'm not here to even make a dime off of it. Now, there may be a point if I ever get to the point where I'm helping enough families and I can't uh, uh, be out here on the road anymore and do that, then I may have to switch over to it full time. Then I may have to charge for it at that time. But right now, I don't. Because I still have this job. And hopefully, I will always have enough money invested in trucks and everything where I don't have to charge to tell people financially. So, anyway. I hope. I pray. And I mean that literally. I do pray about it. That I can help more of my family and friends. And not only my family and friends, but also their family and friends to find a better way because what this country is doing now isn't working I literally heard on a talk show the other day on a conservative station that some moron was on there talking about it's okay to have debt you just have to be taught how to manage it manageable debt is okay that you're a conservative he says he's a Christian and yet he says that debt is okay and nowhere nowhere in the Bible. Now I'm not saying it's a sin going to send you to hell or anything like that. I'm not even saying it's a sin. I don't. I haven't read it said it's a sin. But I do know this. The Bible talks about don't be in debt. You know, it, it, the Bible says nothing good about being in debt. It says nothing good about borrowers. It says nothing good about debtors or, or creditors or debtors as far as that goes. Because the credit, the, the creditor, the debtor is enslaved to the creditor. Creditor. So, both of them are wrong. So, how some guy on a conservative station who's supposed to be, he says he's a Christian, can tell you that debt is okay? I will never understand that. Now, I know there's a few things that we are going to go in debt for. Our house, our mortgage, possibly. If I get to you when you're young enough, then we can even stop that from happening. You may have to pay rent somewhere for a little bit, but you buy a house cash, which save you... Do you realize what time you pay for a mortgage over 30 years, you pay for that house almost three times? And people think they got a good deal. Oh, I bought this house for $150,000, but I sold for $400,000 30 years, 
20 years later, then really you, you've already, you just make your money back. Anyway, I'm going to get off here because this is going on to a very long video and I can ramble on about debt free forever. But again, people, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Don't comment negatively for people who are trying to do it. I don't need that. They don't need it. As a matter of fact, if you do it, I will probably come on here from now on, mention you by name, and just laugh at you. Because I, I'm asking you now, politely, don't do it. But if you want to keep persisting and keep telling me I don't, I will. If you, if you tell me I don't understand, you're asking for help, that's one thing. But if you keep telling me it won't work and it doesn't do that, then I will destroy you with facts. And I will destroy you with people who have done it. So please don't do that. I don't want to front you out on here, but I will in the future. And the one, there's about three of you that keep doing it over and over and over. So I'm guessing you're watching this. You're going to know who you are. So I'm going to let it be known now. If the same people keep doing it over and over and over, I will front you out. Because I don't need it on this page. I don't need you contacting other people that are posting on here asking for help and trying to tell them why it won't work when it's working for them. Um, anyway, I'm out. Have a good one.